Hello everybody, welcome to Cinematic Venom. It feels like I haven't done a new video like this in ages. All the Saturday uploads tend to be re-edits, re-uploads. So it's good to finally be back making new ones in my new house. This is a very different one. This is actually a video I've been wanting to do since I've come back. I put a post in Mauler's Reddit asking for people to send me EFAP memes. I've seen a few in passing, but I've deliberately not dove too much into them because I really want to experience this for the first time. Just see what they, they've come up with because the EFAP community are very creative and very savage. I like that. That's what I like. It's my sense of humor. So let's roast me. Good job on the Aquaman review. Don't vote that. <laughs> okay, what's this? Can any of us blame Cinematic Venom for his gay panic with lines like this? I bet he's thinking of taters. Sam's butt looks cute today. <laughs> oh, this is probably one of my favorite memes, but not the Sam and Frodo, but the, the girl and the guy. It's just, ah, oh, it's so good. What are the comments saying? Big gay wins again. Hi, Frodo. Hi, Sam. Hi, oh, dear, they're like so gay. Oh, uh, you know. And then I came out as bi, so. <laughs> There's a banger at around 1.30.15 mark here. What are we saying? Mel, introduce us. Shut up, Mauler. Most replayed. I'm scared that it's the most replayed. It won't let me skip ahead. <laughs> Ask yourself this. Do any of these characters genuinely have any... Well, whoa, 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 whoa. This, this was made three... Okay, right. <laughs> this was made three years ago. So, quick backstory. <laughs> I lost my job last year, and a friend came to me and said, don't take this the wrong way, but do you think you might be on the spectrum? She works in a school. She worked with a lot of autistic children. She saw some traits in me, and I hadn't really thought about it or noticed anything. So I went to my partner, who also works in a school with autistic children, and I said, oh, Lindsay said that I might be autistic. What do you think? And my missus looked at me and she was like, actually, yeah. Well, I spent months and months and months researching autism and noticing a lot of personal traits within me. Very defining parts, like even to the way I walk with my, the bottom of my foot doesn't hit the floor when I walk. You know, my irregularities with my emotions, my inability to understand people's motivations, which stems into my movie reviews, which makes what I do very, very difficult. And then there's certain signs with ADHD where my attention span drifts off. So I'm not paying attention and I, I miss blatant plot points. Obviously, that's just a little bit that, I, you know, as of August last year, I put myself on the waiting list to be diagnosed with autism because the more I researched, it all fits my personality and it explains so much to the point that I used to collect Beano comics as a kid and I would put them in chronological order and then read them one by one and then put them away and do the exact same thing months later. <laughs> Always do a spreadsheet for everything. The only thing is I want my money back because I'm really shit at maths and numbers. But I do find dates and numbers fascinating. Basically, I'm 99.9% .9 sure I'm autistic. I'm just waiting for the official diagnosis. Those close to me are convinced I'm autistic. It would just make so much sense. After all of this, I look back and I'm like, how did I not see the signs before? I did get comments pointing out you're on the spectrum and I just thought they were being a dick. I just love the fact, and I don't mean to take this in a whole deep personal level here, but the fact that this video from three years ago, like what's the actual date? Yet 2020, I didn't notice or think of any of this until 2023. Well done. The gay and the tism. I'm not gay. I am bi. You're technically pan. There you go. That's actually, that's actually blown my mind a little bit. <laughs> you guys called it. You have to understand. I'd... Wolf. My nemesis. As soon as I heard that voice, I was like, oh no. Here we go again. <laughs> He commented on one of my videos calling a truce and said he actually apologized and I was like, no, everything, everything that Wolf said in that rant was true. He gave me the tough love that I needed. And I do think sometimes you need that kick up the ass when you're being a prick. I needed it and it was completely true. I actually listened to it when I was depressed. <laughs> So it really humbled the shit out of me. He even added me on Discord, but then my Discord was hacked. So now I've lost everyone. Uh, join my Discord down below. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> I think it's your butthole. <laughs> 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 
The spider's gonna rape Frodo? Hey, I wanna fuck your brains out, Mr. Frodo. <laughs> I feel like me and Mauler should like do voiceovers for some kind of animated short or me and Wolf or you know so we should do some EFAP thing if there's an animator out there I just I don't know an actual we actually put up a script and I don't know just pitching it out there you guys do your thing <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to replay That's that every day for as long as I live. Thanks, Wolf. I mean, was going and I was not dissatisfied. <laughs> I, was, I was extremely satisfied. That was beautiful. I was on board all the way. <laughs> that was great. There's another one at around 132.35. He is a generic hero. Is that what the what? Are they, I had to do a double take. Why do I look like a raccoon? <laughs> he struggled sometimes as well, but he had oh no God. other characterizations. <laughs> what? He struggled oh, sometimes, no. but has no other characterization. What is that <laughs> sentence? He struggled sometimes. He's... <laughs> he. He struggled. I think I was trying to say he has some struggles, but that's it. But then I put them together. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, Mauler. I don't know. Fucking hell. One hot take at a time. <laughs> Gandalf, I think it's just so boring. <laughs> it makes it just a chore to sit through. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Shit film so far. Absolutely, fuck you, faggot. Wow. <laughs> I, was, I wasn't expecting the F bomb. <laughs> that, was, that was just mean. Absolutely, fuck you, faggot. <laughs> wow. I, I, I like this scene now. Yes, yeah, all of a sudden, like, wow. Okay. Now, now that it's completely different, I really like it. <laughs> What else we got? Okay, there's another Reddit link. Hey, Mr. Frodo, when we get back to the show, I want to have fun. <laughs> the thing is, when I rewatched the, the trilogy for the new review, I specifically was looking for some indication where you you might see that they might be gay. They might be a gay couple. And personally, I couldn't find one. Yeah, uh, what else we got? Fucking Cinematic Virgin. You know what, right? N these nicknames. Oh, I've got two kids. <laughs> I, I get it. It's a CV. It's an easy name. But you yeah, what's this? Stop it. He's already dead. Oh, Wolf's, Wolf's beating the shit out of me. Oh, that's the stream. Okay. Yeah, that's that's the stream. Yeah. And Wolf's, Wolf's kicking the shit out of me. Can't wait for CV to see it and cry about it on Twitter, then go on to say that people who respond to him are the ones who are actually... <laughs> uh, he was asking for it. Yeah, I was. Eugene and Nigel are discussing over what movie to... Who's Nigel? Eugene's one of my characters. I don't know who Nigel is. Oh, wait. What's your real name? Nigel. Yeah, it can't be that because this was posted. I mean, I'm recording this on the 13th of July. This was posted. That video is not out yet. So who the fuck is Nigel? <laughs> anyway, final one. Well, what's this link? Tag along on the journey and all for no... Is this going to be five minutes of me just saying for no reason? It's been nine months since EFAP 93 and I still hear his voice for no reason. And I don't know if I can continue to live in these lands without hearing his voice for no reason. Is this really just five... Surely I don't say it for enough. Times, do I? No reason. What's with the intense close-ups again? It serves no purpose. Uh, that's no purpose. That doesn't count. Let's oh, it's, it's okay. So can. these are the Harry Potter references. Now let's count all the gay jokes. Oh, oh my God! Look, look at Elijah the... Wood is so bad in this one. <laughs> Nothing he says sounds genuine, and everything he says sounds <laughs> feminine. Don't you leave him some ways, Gamgee? Oh come on! <sighs> <laughs> okay, right. Well, uh, well, well, led to Mordor by Gollum, despite Sam not wanting to share his hot piece of ass. Yeah. Elijah Wood with that. Okay, anybody. okay. What we'll for? Cinematic Venom. E fat. It's literally the thumbnail. 
It's the thumbnail for this. Cinematic Venom of Pop... Let's just bypass that. <laughs> so yeah, this has been a lot of fun. Um, EFAP community, thank you. <laughs> Truth be told, I've said it before, I'll say it again, I was going through a difficult time when that stream happened, took it to heart, was a little pussy. Since I'm in a better place mentally, sometimes, depends on the day of the week. <laughs> you guys have been really, really supportive, really, really welcoming. Maul has always been cool with me. I've been on EFAP, I've been on Self Pause podcast. Everyone's been great. I feel like the redemption has been successful. Keep the creative memes coming because I'm loving every minute of it. Now what's this? Mauler's impeccable impression of Chris Stuckman. This film was directed by John Smith. And oh. John is John made uh, Googly Eyes uh, from 2015. And that was a very good film. And uh, this film, I really like the cinematography. Uh, it was very well executed. Um, and I'd say that... Uh, you should, if you enjoyed the one that came before, you'd probably enjoy this one. And I will say, I've noticed a lot of discussion uh, surrounding the sort of implications of the social commentary on this film. And I'm not, you know, personally, I'm not, it doesn't, it didn't affect my enjoyment. All right. Thank you. Uh, this gets an A plus and get stuckmanized. <laughs> <laughs> it, it hurts to listen to him because he doesn't say anything. <laughs> I mean, they really are. If you ever, if, if you are a young aspiring YouTuber, movie critic, and you say, man, what, I wonder if I could be Chris Duckman. Yes. <laughs> yes, you can. I don't even know. I don't even know who you are. I don't even, I don't know anything about you. You can be Chris Duckman. <laughs> They said it. <laughs> <laughs>